जरूर ना सर अगे Hey guys, I hope you're ready for another crazy Hollow Knight lore video. So what fun topic are we going to talk about today? Well, it's a good one. You and everyone you know and love is going to die. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh great, here comes another one of Mossbag's crazy conspiracies. What's next? Is he going to argue that Silk Song is a prequel again? Well, how about I give you an example of a beloved character from Hollow Knight that actually does die? Quarrel. The last time we see Quirrell in-game, he is sitting at the Blue Lake after the knight kills Maudemon the teacher. After that, Quirrell disappears, leaving behind his nail sticking out of the ground and his ultimate fate left uncertain. Except not really, because Quirrell is definitely dead. Now technically the question of what happened to Quirrell is left open to interpretation, and Team Cherry even said as such in an interview with the reputable news source Kotaku. Um, okay, next question. What happened to Quirrell? We don't know. Yeah, we're not sure. Okay. But if you are a regular to my channel, you know that Team Cherry are a bunch of liars. And William and Ari know damn well what happened to Quirrell. But even still, once we look at the evidence, having Quirrell die makes the most sense both logically and narratively. So what am I saying? That Quirrell killed himself in some sort of reverse Jeffrey Epstein maneuver? Did he drown himself in the blue lake? Well, I can't really say how he passed away, but when looking at the evidence, it's clear that Quirrell was ready to die. So before we start talking about what's actually in the game, it's worth pointing out something particular about the art asset for Quirrell's nail that we see after he disappears. Within the game's files, this piece of art is called Quirrell Death Nail. Now, obviously, there are a lot of different ways you can interpret what this means. But if I were to hazard a guess, I would say that Team Cherry thinks Quirrell is dead. Or at least they thought so at one point. Now of course this evidence isn't canonical. But as we dig into what is canonical in the game, I think most of you will end up agreeing with Team Cherry. There are two main reasons why Quirrell is probably dead. His age, and the fact that he abandoned his nail. Let's start with his age. When Quirrell first arrives in Hallonest, he has completely forgotten about his past. He doesn't remember being Maudemont's assistant, or her participation in the sealing of the Hollow Knight. He is exploring Hallonest as a traveler, drawn to the kingdom by stories of wonder and horror. Eventually, Quirrell arrives in the City of Tears, remarking on how he'd like to see the source of the rain, saying, I'd like to see where it all comes from before I leave this kingdom. What a sight it must be. Now Quirrell mentions that he plans on leaving Hallonest here, but we have to remember that Quirrell doesn't remember his past yet. He's going through what we would call a character arc, and we can see that his mood will drastically change once he makes it to the teacher's archives. Quirrell mentions how he remembers the archives, and how he helped Motomon become a seal. After the knight smacks Motomon with the magic stick thing and murders her, Quirrell mentions how he begins to feel his age. Finally, at the Blue Lake, we see Quirrell, quietly looking out over the waters. He mentions how he feels at peace. Even his voice lines here reflect how old and tired he is. At this point, Quirrell has no more reasons to continue his exploring. He's lived in age and seen the glories of Hallonest twice over which I assume includes Flukmarm. So he's basically seen Flukmarm twice. Anyone would be ready to go after that. And now we come to the second argument. Why the fuck would Quirrell leave his nail behind? As we will see, Quirrell is constantly talking about the importance of having a weapon. For him to just leave one behind implies he had no intention of walking out of Halonest alive. In the Temple of the Black Egg, Quirrell mentions that the knight's old nail is too weak to handle the challenges awaiting in the kingdom. While in Greenpath, Quirrell also mentions the importance of the knight getting a better nail when he says, Your nail looks a fine instrument, but it's showing signs of a wear. I'd wager up there it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. In fact, in the very first encounter we have with Quirrell, he strongly foreshadows his own death, remarking, Plenty have come before us and most have met their grisly end, many more equipped than you and I. 
I'm sure they wouldn't mind were a fellow explorer to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. So at the end of his journey, Quirrell is choosing to leave his nail behind, so that he may not be burdened by it in death. He knows very well that abandoning his nail spells certain death, but he doesn't mind. And while there's nothing we can really do to stop Quirrell's passing, besides just not talking to him at the Blue Lake, I guess, we can still remember him. At the heart of every red-blooded human being is an adventurer's spirit, the same spirit embodied by Quirrell. Let's keep that spirit alive, for his sake. So go ask that cute girl out. Go push that coworker you hate down the stairs. Go, go, Power Rangers! Let's remember to explore the world in which we live. Let's remember to appreciate the wonders that surround us. And most importantly, let's remember to always remember that we should remember Quarrel. And I swear by the moon and the stars and the stars, I'll be there.